to get him back. But this is Cheston West, a freshman on an end around. Has plenty of room and gets out to the 45-yard line. A big start for Fresno State. With showing him how to manage a game. That was what he said he learned the most. And helping him manage the game, busting up the middle. What a run by Dwayne Wright. Well, he certainly looks like he is no worse for the wear. In a shotgun set with three receivers. Only a four-man rush allowing him time, and he makes them pay. To the outside, it's Fernandez. He goes to right. He has running room. Runs right into a wall. Uche Anyanwu came up, made the stop, and now Nevada claiming that not only did the ball come loose, but that they have it. No two the play continue. Well, it took a long time for the officials to conference and make their decision, but Bill Aikman just made the call official. Nevada with the game's first turnover, and it comes inside. Again, they play power football. Up the middle goes right first and goal. And goal. Timing pattern. Looking for Fernandez. It's a jump ball. Caught. Touchdown. Joe Fernandez. He had a touchdown last year against Nevada. The left. Away from all whack, Joe Garcia, and towards number four, D'Angelo Wilson. And this is good coverage by Wilson. Fernandez just does a great job getting up there. Lead drive. And quickly to the outside, the wide receiver hitch. Williams picks up a first down and then some. Out to nothing lead. And they have been deadly on third down. And once again, up the seam goes to Ron Fairman. That's another first down. Now, is not what you want. And here, one on one to the outside goes right, tripped up. Hot. Still hot. <laughs> Hand off to right. He gets inside the 10, down to the five yard line again. Once again, in is Dwayne Wright. A chance for Nevada to make a game changing play on defense. Right up the middle, at the goal line. Touchdown. One official on the far side signals touchdown. Downfield, wide open, making the catch in traffic, Adam Bishop. Oh, what a big play that is. Tration so far, first and ten. Rose steps up, buying himself some time. Caught! Touchdown! Mike McCoy got loose, but it was Rowe that bought time. To deliver this ball. Now watch at the end, though. Watch how McCoy plucks this thing up. It's a little bit behind him over his head. He's a senior and has never had a big factor to play. And now a fumbled exchange and a turnover. The momentum shifts right back to Fresno State as Tyler Klutz comes up with the loose ball. They're just rolling, and then they blow a basic handoff that you get all summer long. And it looked like the inside arm of the running back. It's for Fresno State to take back control. They go to the ground, and they go back to Dwayne Wright. He's loose, and he'll go the distance. Second touchdown of the game for Dwayne Wright. When you're the defense, a turnover, you got to get your mind right and get out there and ready to play. Not so with Nevada. Fernandez with a great block at the end there to help Wright get going. Six is for the second time in this afternoon's game. Dwayne Wright takes it to the house. It is all Bulldogs now. Here comes the blitz. Under pressure, row. He escapes. No containment. And he will run for the first down and plenty more. Into Bulldog territory at the... Rowe keeps it. Extra effort, and it looks like he has the first down. First half, 14 on this drive. Rowe, rolling. Enzo, touchdown. Mike McCoy for the second time. Those Mitchell ran deep, taking the safety out of the play. And McCoy beats his man. For the two-point conversion. Some indecisiveness. Throws in the back of the end zone. It's knocked away. This is only the second offensive snap of the third quarter for Fresno. And again, it's right. Busting free for a gain of about 11. But second down and nine. Hubbard breaks free. Makes a move in the open field inside the 25 all the way down to the 20. First and 10. Here's Lippincott. Finds a crease inside the 10. All from the one. He gets the call. And he's in. Touchdown, Nevada. Brandstater with time, fires a strike, and that's good for a first down to Play action for Brandstater, wants it all. A jump ball down the right sideline, running under it, making the catch is Williams. Going to conference to see if he had the ball inbounds at all. Now it's an incomplete pass. Come back in and catch the ball. Well, it looked like oh, when no. he made the catch, his first in. foot was inbounds. Third down and five. 
with 10 minutes and 10 seconds to go. Brand Stater to the outside. Fernandez makes the catch and gets loose down the sideline. Pick it off. Instead, he goes in with one hand and he waits to protect himself. But he just needed to go take it. Run into the red zone. Once again, it's right. Breaks a tackle at the five. Looking for his third touchdown of the night. He's in. Wright spent the two years he was injured and couldn't run, developing his upper body strength and then his hip strength. And take a look at this. When you hit him up high, he's going to defeat you because that's this is a different back that Fresno fans will remember. When he was injured, he was a tall, lanky kind of a back, a strider along the lines of Eric Dickerson. With the way that Fresno State has run the ball tonight, are you guys surprised that Nevada is opting to punt? Yep, I am very much. You kick the field goal now. You need two scores. And you need an onside kick. You kick the field goal. Give yourself a chance. Instead, they go for it on fourth down. Under pressure, row. For the first time tonight, a quarterback is sacked in the game. And it's Tyler Klutz that ends the game for Fresno State. 1-0 in game sevens. He gets a chance to advance as we take a look at our Cooper Tires player of the game.